Okay, so tip number one, take a lot of images. So if you have taken a lot of images, you're on the safer side. Uh, suppose a few days ago I take two images, I took two images of him, um, one is this, the other one is this. See both the images has its own problems. Actually I took around 10 to 12 images but I chose the best one. So I thought okay this image is the best but the one problem in that image is the one big problem that this image has is that his eyes are closed. Now we don't want that. We don't want his eyes to be closed. We want it to be open. So I was looking for an, uh, an image which has a correction of this which is very similar to this image again and on that image the eye has to be open. Now I was going uh, through my, all of my images of the same section, same area, the same point of view. So I found this image. Uh, I could have used this image but the problem with this image is the hand is blurred. Okay, the hand is blurred. Look at here. The hand is blurred. So what can I do right now? Well, we can do one thing that no other software can do that is take this part of this person and paste it here. So we have to have to combine ability to combine the two images. What do we do now? Tip number one, take a lot of images especially if you are with a DSLR or even in most of the cameras nowadays you can take photos on burst mode so I would suggest that you take pictures on burst mode so that if anything goes wrong anywhere you always have the option to have the better image or if not you can always do that in Photoshop you have stock of something to repair that in Photoshop later so in this what do you have to do you have to select the image with the least number of mistakes with the least number of mistakes uh, and the one mistake that you have in that image that you can correct with and another mistake another image with more number of mistakes so for this example I have this image I'm going to uh, set the, the open the eye of this person using this image how am I going to do this is first of all have both of the images open in Photoshop next Control A, select the image, your image is now selected. Control C, image is now copied and then paste it here. Control V. Now what happens is the new image is pasted on this file. Now the problem is when you switch on or off this layer, you'll find that there's a little bit of shake in here. What do you mean by shake? The images are not aligned. To align those images, first of all, if I directly go and uh, try to combine both of the images what will happen is it will get blurred because the images has a little bit of gap in them look here when I turn on there's a little bit of gap here so what do you have to do first is align had I taken this image on a tripod this wouldn't have been a problem but I took it uh, handheld so what do you have to do go to edit then uh, where did it go okay yes select both the layers go to edit auto align layers leave it on auto and click ok wait wait this will take us some of your time and there you have it both of them are now aligned turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on of course there's a little bit of a problem in the corner but you can always get it cleared you can always crop it so what you can do is now Keep this layer on okay both the layers are on press and hold alt or option on Mac and press this mask button what happens is there's a mask of this layer which is created this is black means none of the layer is being shown now what you have to do you have to click on the mask here this is the this is called the mask and select the brush and make sure the foreground color is white if it's black press X it will be white and then get the flow make sure the flow is somewhere between uh, 20 to 30 something 30 ish now what you have to do take the brush paint over his eye now you need to zoom in tight for this boom you see the magic boom oh yeah. see get to this eye Paint. Boom. Now let's zoom out and see how it looks. 
It looks strange. It looks as if his eyes have gone a little bit upwards because he turned his head at that point of time. So we have to paint the eyebrows too. It's done. Done. It looks good. But still, I think what's happening is the eyes are a little bit up. So what do you have to do now? Control T, Command T on Mac and press the down arrow a little bit till it looks good and then press the right arrow till it looks better and press enter and you're good to go you're ready with this so first what you had what we started up was this and what we have right now is this then you can go ahead and save your image and this is how we do it this is how we roll but the thing right now we have a problem here see these irregularities here that's bound to happen when you auto align layers so how do you correct that simple you simply crop it uh, press C you have the crop uh, tool right now here and crop it a little bit from here a little bit from here press enter and you're good to go yes you're good to go turn off turn on look like looks like he's closing and opening his eyes but that's all for today. I'm Unmesh. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and happy photoshopping.